Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square and to another flash review where I review crochet products in less than five minutes. Okay, first things first, I know you're seeing a different view here. The sun is so strong coming through the window that I couldn't sit in my normal position. And I actually had to move my mess out of the way so that you couldn't see it on the floor there. I still have yarn to put away. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Furls Odyssey hook. Now I did get other Furls hooks and I'm not reviewing those today, just the Furls Odyssey hook. I had the chance to use this when I made the ribbon yarn bags, which I put a tutorial up for. And if you haven't seen that yet, I'll put a link right here. You can go check it out. Then I also used it on other yarns just to get an idea of how it works with different types of fibers. First, let's start with the price. Everybody knows furls is expensive. And I would recommend if you're gonna get furls, wait until you have a coupon or a sale. I did post in my other videos a link for furls, which I'll put down below. They're having a warehouse warming sale right now. They just moved to a new warehouse, so they're giving 20% off of everything on their site. Next. Aesthetically, furls are gorgeous. You could choose any color you'd like. Uh, they had different color hooks at one point. I don't know if they do or if they're all silver right now, but they are a beautiful hook and it, they feel very luxurious in your hand. I feel like I'm pulling out a piece of jewelry when I pull this out. So as far as the grip goes, there's no flat spot or bump like there are on the Clover or on the Tulip Edimo. And I was concerned how this would feel. Now I have a knife hold, so keep that in mind. If you use a pencil hold, it may be different for you. In the end, I found it to be very comfortable and I had no issues. And actually, I felt like this hook was very strong when I was working with the ribbon yarn because sometimes you really need to pull that stitch through with the ribbon yarn. And I felt this was very strong. Another interesting part is that the handle is weighted. You can definitely feel the weight of this, which brings me into slip. As far as slip is concerned, the slip on this is great. It just slides right through the stitches. And I feel like the weight in the handle actually somehow makes the handle move faster or propels it forward. In the beginning, I felt like I couldn't keep up with my hook. So that was very interesting. I used this with several different fibers and had no problem with the slip. I would say slip wise, this is just as good as the Tulip Edamo. Now, the point, you know I always look at the point so that it can get into stitches easily. The point on this is excellent. I don't know if you can see that there. The point on this is excellent. I did run into a little bit of problem though. This part down here, the hook itself, is also sharp. And I did find that it will split yarn if I'm not careful with the way I'm holding the hook. I compared it to a clover and the clover is definitely more rounded on the tip of the hook than the Odyssey. The length of the hook is fabulous. If you look at it compared to a clover, and I'm pushing the top of the clover up to where this starts to thin out, you can see it's still longer, but there's plenty of room on this if you wanna do a bobble stitch or a popcorn stitch or something like that where you wanna keep stitches on your hook. This is great for that. So for overall rating, for price, I give it a one because it is expensive. There's no getting around that. For aesthetics, I give it a five. You can choose your own color so you know which hook you're choosing. They're absolutely gorgeous hooks. They feel like a piece of jewelry. No doubt it gets a five for aesthetics. I just love holding these. For grip, I give it a five. Completely comfortable. Absolutely no problems whatsoever. Again, keep in mind I use a knife hold. The slip was awesome. I had to try to keep up with the hook. It was propelling me forward. For the point on the tip, I give it a four, not because of the point so much. I wasn't sure which category to put this under, but it does fall under the tip. But just because this is sharper under here and it can catch your yarn and split it. Once I got used to the way I needed to hold my hook, Splitting was not a problem, but it is something that I have to take into consideration. Length of the hook, give it a five. I love the length of this hook and it worked very well for me no matter what I was doing. So my overall rating for the Furls Odyssey hook is 4.2 Franny Squares. Now, as I said, this is just for the Odyssey hook. I still have to review the Streamline hooks that I purchased and I will do that in the future. 
The next hook I'll be reviewing is actually from the least expensive set I bought during my hook shopping spree. And if you didn't see that hook haul or hook shopping spree, I'll put a link here so you can go check that out. And I'll be reviewing that hook probably next week. I have to use it for a little bit. And if you've used the Furls Odyssey or any of the other Furls hooks, I'd love to hear your comments below. I think it's great when we share with the community our experiences so we can all learn from each other. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon.